Okay, so I'm in 3D Studio Max. I have this sofa. It was made by me a long time ago. It's quite a high poly 3D model, as you can probably see. And I would like to import this sofa in Archicad. So I have here Archicad 28 open and uh, I would like to import the sofa here. The problem is if I'm importing this sofa, as you can see it here, with all these polygons for Archicad is going to be very hard to uh, manage this kind of file. So the first thing that I need to do is to make this file uh, much smaller. So how we can do that? This is uh, how I actually made this sofa. So I started with a box. If I hide all of this, you can see this is how I started to making the bottom of the sofa. So I'll just go and add everything back. Yeah, so uh, I will just collapse everything so I can show you how am I going to do it and I will just take only this one. If I add here 7, you can see the number of polygons. So how am I going to do? I'm going to go here and apply a modifier which is called Pro Optimizer and uh, this modifier I'm going to go here and add keep the textures and keep boundaries and then I'm going to start calculating. So the program is going to just calculate how many vertices and uh, how many polygons the file has and then I can just go here and put 20. And in this moment from 200,000 polygons like this I just went to 43 which is quite a good improvement if you ask me. The geometry looks more or less the same as you can see but the number of polygons is much smaller. From my knowledge if you go less yeah in this case it's still looking okay -ish, but most of the time you can get less uh, uh, less quality in the 3d model i will just leave it like this and i will just collapse this and now uh, if you want you can add a a quadify mesh is gonna add a little bit more quads, uh, more uh, polygons to the object but in the end uh, i will apply also a retopology and here I can put the number of uh, polys if I want. So I'm going to put 15 and I will just give a compute. The program is going to start computing. And he made a new 3D model, which is not really perfect, as you can see here. Maybe let me add more, 25,000. See if it's going to look better. Not really perfect. So yeah, I'll just take them both out and I'll just leave it like this. Okay, I'm gonna unhide everything. Now I'm just gonna take the pillow, one of them, this one. Uh, this one has some details in here, as you can probably see. It's all these seams that, uh, yeah, it's gonna be hard to keep them this way. I will just collapse everything and I will just use a pro optimizer keep textures, keep boundaries and just calculate, let's see, 20%. Yeah, as you can see, it didn't do a very good job, but it's not that bad. I will apply a smooth to it and uh, auto smooth. Yeah, I think it's fine. It's not perfect, but for Archicad, it's more than enough. I will collapse this. For the other one, I'm just going to delete this one because I'm going to use the one on the right. I'm just make, gonna make a copy. Uh, these ones were made as a sphere, so I'm just going to add less segments here. Nine should be more than enough. So this one, nine, and again, nine here. Okay, and now I will just add all of this like this. And now I will just uh, collapse it to an editable poly and attach this. Okay, and it's not bad. I'm gonna delete this one. And for this, I'm gonna do the same. Collapse all. And I will just apply a retopology directly at 5000. It's already looking uh, quite good, I think. Even less, we can have 1000. Let's see. Yeah, it's uh, looking good. As I said, it's better not to have that many polygons into Archicad, otherwise, uh, yeah, it's gonna move very, very slow. So Archicad doesn't really like polygons. And uh, now I'll just take all of this and move it here. Copy. And it's fine. Uh, let's see this one we can do here. Uh, this has a mesh smooth over, which we don't really need. 
I'm just going to delete this and I'm just going to collapse all of it. Oh, let me see also if the other ones are the same. Delete. Oh, delete. And uh, delete. Collapse all of it and then attach everything in one object. And yeah, this is our 3D model. I'm gonna go to File, Selected, Export Selected. And now I'm just going to save this to my export and save this as a FBX. Okay, Turbo Smooth, I don't need any Turbo Smooth in here. Converting, uh, Triangulate, not really. Preserve, Smoothing Groups, I can have. Animations, I don't care. Advanced Options, Units, it's automatic. Scene, Units converted to centimeters. Okay, ported, okay, it's done. And another thing that I would like to do before moving to is to use a no, script for 3D Studio Max that is called 3D for CAD. I will just show you. And what is actually this? What is this script doing is actually is creating lines or CADs for your drawings. So you can just click something and then by using this you can get the CAD for that. So uh, you can download this from here, 3D for CAD script and just save it and so on. Uh, I will leave the uh, link in the description. And then in the moment that I'm going to add this in here, it's going to show me this 3D for CAD. And uh, if I select this, I said local, it's going to make the drawings for this uh, for this sofa. So as you can see, I have a side view, which is looking like this. It's more like a section. The front view, that is looking quite nice. And the top view. I'm just going to need only the top view. So uh, yeah, it's probably better also to clean it a little bit because you see you have some strange intersection in here. To do that, uh, you can just do it from here or not. The most important one is the top view. And as you can see here, it's not really perfect how it was made. So yeah, but anyway, uh, it's good to have it. I will show you right away why. So I will just select also this and select export selected. And I will save this as a Conrad CAD. And here I'll just save it as a CAD a DWG and just save it. I will do that only just to have it for later. Okay, and now I will go to my Archicad and here I will go to Libraries, Objects, Import FBX as a GDL and I will go to and just Okay, the new library part, Conrad, blah, 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 was imported. Okay, and now to import that, I just need to go to my objects, which is this one. And here, uh, if I select this, I'm going to have it here in the embedded library. And as you can see here, I have the colors and how it's actually going to, how it's actually looking. I can change the contour pan to a different line if I need it. Yeah, the 3D representation stays with the green, so I can change also this. I'll just hit OK for now and I'm just going to show you how it's actually looking. Okay, and uh, this is it. The problem with this is that it has many, many lines in here because it's actually the 3D model of that. So if I go in the 3D with F5, it's exactly that. Uh, it doesn't have smooth groups in here because Archicad doesn't have smooth groups, but it's looking uh, quite nice and it's moving quite well. The only problem is that in the plan, when I'm looking at it, it has so many lines in here, so I don't really like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna uh, import also the, the drawing that I have, the DWG, as you can see, now I have it. And uh, using the control equal, I'm going to explode this and start cleaning it because in this moment, this can actually go. I, I wanna have here only the, the top view of the sofa. So I need to clean it a little bit. So I'm just gonna do that right now because I have many lines in here that I don't really need, as you can see. So I'm gonna take this out, also this, and delete this, and make it more or less perfect. Then I have this line, because yeah, in the 3D I had so many lines in there, so the program didn't know what to do anymore, how to save it, so I need, just need to clean it a little bit. The 
the line that I actually need to keep by using the line in here for a hotspot. I'm just gonna take this, move it here, and now just start cleaning the stuff that I don't really need. This way, I'm going to have a very clean and uh, Okay, this is looking good. Let's gonna come back with my 3D model. For the second one, I'm just gonna delete all of this and use the hotspot to create a point just as a reference and delete the rest. Okay, let me also do this. And now I will just take all of this with shift and select. Oh more or less everything and then with control and click and i have a second pillow in here which is looking more or less like this it doesn't need to be perfect i just need to have a clean uh, drawing more or less and now i need a fill also for this so i'm just going to create a fill like this and this fill uh, can go background quite I'll just send this to back or bring this one to front. Okay, and now with the minus, just gonna click in here. Let's see if it's going. It's not really working out because these lines are probably not closed. I have a little small space anywhere. Not going to work. But if I do this, it should work more or less. It worked. Okay, and uh, another point in here. Yeah, sometimes if the uh, geometry is very complex or the lines are very complex uh, this I can take this out from here from show area text then delete this and make this a group with ctrl G and then for this one I just need to go here in uh, library and objects uh, and open object and then go here at the 2d and just delete all of this and then in here, I need to bring the cat file. So I'm just gonna go and take this cat file. Well, actually, see these points here? I need them also here. So be sure I need to add the hotspots one. This is one. This is another one. Okay. You will see right away why I did this. And now I will add the hotspot in here, one here. This one is not correct, I can just delete it. And then I can just take fill, control T, oh no. the fill with this hotspot, I make it control G, and control C, and then go here back to my sofa in the 2D symbol and paste it. Paste it in the original location. Let's see if it's working like that. Oh no, because my origin is here. See, so it's not in the right place. I think now it is. I think I can just close this. Also this. And now it's gonna ask me, do you want to save the changes? I'll just say yes. And now this is my 3D model and this is my 2D. So the 3D model, I can just take it now and add another one in here. And I have it clean and beautiful. And when I go to 3D, I have it as a 3D model. So I'll just delete this again. And this is my 2D. I can delete all of this. Delete. And now when I'm going to my models here, object, and go here on the embedded library, I have my sofa and 3D model in the plane is looking like this. And I can even go and right now back to my object and clean it more or do some other design in here and this is how it's looking i hope you guys enjoy it oh uh, yeah this is the lesson for today i'm going to make more videos about archicad in the future uh, please don't forget to subscribe if you didn't do it already there are more videos in my channel about 3d and corona render to use max and so on so yeah check them out and yeah see you in the next one bye